What's up? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I go by the name of Noah, aka Swole Gamer, on all social media platforms. Swole Gamer 801. And it's been a minute. It's been about two weeks since we've uploaded a video. So I kind of just wanted to get back in the groove of things and keep y'all updated on where we are with our journey so far. As y'all know, we did compete last uh, two weeks ago. That was our second meet ever that we've ever competed in. That will be two for the year. So we competed back in January and then we competed two weeks ago, June 22nd. So yeah, man. So just a quick update. We are still powerlifting and we are still being coached by uh, the one and only Michael Davis. Shout out to the coach, Mikey. And this week we've kind of started a new block. So moving forward, the goal is to obviously get stronger. And this last meet we just had really just was like the proof that we have gotten stronger. Even though there were things that didn't turn out the way we wanted, it was still a great meet overall. We were able to hit some PRs, so that was really good. But since we last made the video, y'all saw we were, it was our last week, our taper week for in preparation for the meet we just had. I was competing with my nephews alongside, which they did great as well. Shout out to the nephews, Siwan Teki, Dongi Bros on all social media platforms, at Dongi Bros, really proud of them. And my brother was able to handle not only them, but me as well, so yeah. So I figured I'd take the time to do this video and just kind of give y'all a meet recap of like, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. Um, without the behind the scenes because this camera wasn't working the day of so kind of sucks we were able to get you know a video off of people's phones but to have the whole you know vlog experience and bts for the whole meet and uh we weren't able to do that which kind of sucked but all in all you know was still a great meet for me and like i said for my nephews as well so with that being said i wanted to kind of do this video and just take our attempts and kind of give y'all the breakdown behind the attempts we took the men the mentality behind each lift and you know our thought process and stuff like that and give y'all a, a view of uh, our lifts and stuff too so we're gonna go ahead and uh i'm in my room right now i got a house full of my uh, guests got in-laws in town and so i was wanting to do this at my computer but for the sake of wanting to put out something for my channel um, i appreciate those who are new to the channel as well we did reach 635 subscribers so i appreciate y'all man welcome to the channel uh, i am also tag teaming with my brother on our uh, brand channel we're trying to promote a, a brand and also a community so i'll have the links for that in the description but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this meet recap we'll walk y'all through each attempt um and talk a little bit about you know uh this meet so let's do it i'm just gonna be on my laptop and so yeah we'll kind of just we'll go through the the meet and if we can get some different angles because i am gonna go through the live broadcast um shout out to 307 barbell um, AKA the meet director for this meet. Her name is Maggie Jones, shout out to her for always going live for these uh, these meets. So we're gonna go through the live and then yeah, um, I'm just gonna be on my laptop going through it and uh, we'll give y'all a view for those of you uh, watching what I'm seeing and what I'm looking at too. So we're gonna get the laptop. All right, we got the laptop. Let's go ahead and get into our meet recap. Uh, sorry for the the way we're looking right now, we did just get back from training. Like I said, we're still on program. I ended up, I hit a week one squat today, but yeah. So again, I just want to really put this video uh, together and get it out there for y'all. Let's dive into these, these attempts y'all. All right. So I will say this, um, before we get into this, these, uh, the meat, this was probably by far the most composed. I want to say by far, cause this is only our second meet, but the difference between this meet and the last meet I had was like we were way more composed going into this meet and I think that was just because we were we were prepared you know we've had a great prep even though we did go and experience a lot of uh, hiccups throughout training especially with my knee being hurt and then the new back pain we started feeling but yeah even with uh, with with all that happening this ended up being like the better meet out of the two so 
um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so squats. We got squats starting at an hour and 12 minutes into the meet. For those of y'all that don't know how a powerlifting meet goes, they usually section it off into groups which are called flights. And this meet, we had three flights. The first group is usually like master class and also women as well as kids that will compete in the first flight. They'll go through all three of their powerlifting attempts for the lift. So first they start out with squats. You get three attempts. Each lifter gets three attempts for squats. You get a minute to perform the lift and then another minute to submit your next attempt. So after this meet we were in the third flight the last flight flight C and I was about the second to last squatter so being that there was three flights first flight went through all three of their lifts second flight went through all three of their lifts and while the second flight was going through theirs I was in the back warming up so so with squats uh, warm-ups were pretty good we had a little bit of trouble towards the end because I'm one of the only lifters at this meet who actually squat um, with the racks in. And for those of y'all who don't know, um, with these combo racks, and, it, and and that's what I love about powerlifting is because everybody's different, right? Like everybody's body, you know, some people are taller, shorter, longer arms, longer legs, you know, torsos, etc. So for me, for those of y'all who've been watching the, the channel, y'all know I always put the racks in and I have a wider grip for the squat. So in the back room, it's filled with people and having to jump in with people who are already warming up. And then, and then on top of that, I squat differently than everyone. Usually everyone is squatting you know, with their grip a lot narrower because I'm a bigger guy um, and my leverages are kind of weird. I usually, what's comfortable for me is a wider grip. So in order for me to get to the furthest part of the bar, we have to put the racks in. So yeah, we ended up finding one and warm ups just went, you know, fine. I think our last warm up we worked up to in the back was about 455 pounds, which was super easy. So going into our first attempt, we got hour 12, okay. Also, shout out to everybody at Barbell Therapy. That's the gym where this meet was at. A bunch of great, you know, great people over there. The, I guess one of the, I think he's the owner. One of the owners there got injured a couple months ago. And usually he competes in the meets at his gym. He didn't end up competing this time. And uh, he ended up being the main spotter. So, shout out to him, man. So, what we're seeing here, they adjusted the racks in, like I said, for me. You all saw him uh, pick up the, I guess the, the blocks there and move the squat racks inward. So here's my grip. Um, we got 220 pounds on, or kilos on the bar for our first attempt, which was 485. So 485. Kind of, it's kind of blocking with this guy over here. Good walk out. Super easy. Yeah, super easy. Three white lights. Great lift. Um, I think the what I what I really liked about that lift was how fast we came out of the hole. And going into squats, you know, they say um, your squat, especially your first opener, is literally what like sets the tone for your meat. So it's like the make or break lift. So. Being able to hit for 485 like that and it moving the way it did, you know, we got a lot of confidence going into our next lift. So overall, feeling good. Like I said, this me, like I think after I hit this, I was just like, you know, calm. But uh, even leading up to this meet, I had already discussed with my coach the numbers we were projecting to hit. And the goal was to beat our last total. So the last meet we had in January, I totaled 1503. Uh, 1,503 pounds. So that was the goal for this meet was to try and beat it. So with what I discussed with our coach, my coach, Mikey, we were going to beat this, beat this last total by a lot. So that was our first attempt. Three white lights, good lift. Second attempt, hour 23. Okay, so second attempt, 230 kilos. 
507 pounds on the bar. Josh, last minute, you know, pulls the racks in. Shout out to Josh. Honestly, my brother handled me, but I don't think we really spoke too much. Like, we knew what we had to do, and I just told him what numbers, and then we went and just, you know, executed. 507, we got to lock in a little more, a little more intensity. We don't, we don't want to waste all of it, so we hit the rack hard. Easy walk out. Squat, just as easy as the first. A little bit of a sticking point towards the top, but... All in all, super easy lift, man. So yeah, that's the second. And this third attempt that we talked with Mikey was going to be a PR for me. For those of y'all who've watched my last uh, meet, the most I squatted was 512 at my last meet. Um, so going into this meet, my coach and I, Mikey, had talked about um, hitting a PR. Um, the most we ever did in the gym was 523 pounds. And so after talking with my coach, oh, we ended up hitting 523 during prep leading up to this competition. I was able to hit it in the gym and it moved a lot better than the first time I ever squatted 525 pounds. So 23. So going into this meet, my coach wanted us to PR and we talked about hitting 242 kilos, 242 and a half. This will be an all-time PR for me. And uh, that, which is 534 pounds, as y'all can see. So we come out. <laughs> this, is, this is a PR, like I said, we've never hit this weight before. Um, so we come out, we're back there, we're amped up. You know, I took some, there's some smelling salts back there that I, I used prior to coming out and as y'all can see right here y'all notice anything with the racks they are not cambered so I come out pissed off ready to lift then I gotta readjust my mind I readjust my belt still waiting now we're ready to squat <laughs> so here we go 242 and a half kilos all-time PR Super ticked off. Easy walk out. Get out the hole fast. Little bit of a grinder, man. And there you go. Three white lights. All PR. So, yeah, man. That felt good. We went three for three on squats. Like I said, comparing the two meets, like, my first meet, um, I felt like I had more time to soak things in. Even though this meet had the same amount of flights, it was three flights just like the first one, there was actually like 15 less lifters. Something like that, 10, some 10 or more. There's that, you know, I guess backed out or something. But yeah, so this felt like super fast going into each attempt. I felt like we went through them really, really fast. Usually I'm like celebrating and stuff. You know, but right there after hitting that and seeing we got three white lights, you know, I was just like relieved, you know, um, more than excited, if that makes sense. But yeah, which I wasn't expecting, you know, I was hoping, I was like thinking that I would be like riled up and, you know, screaming and stuff. But we hit that um, and just walked off the platform and, you know, got ready for what, for bench. So now we're going to go to bench. Got the other two weight classes that went after we our first attempt was two hours in two hours almost three hours into the meet before we hit our first bench attempt okay so bench y'all know bench has always been good man from last prep last meet um even going into this meet bench is just you know one of our loyal lifts like I low key am not like worried about bench. Like I want to hit numbers and I know, I don't know. I think I've kind of like grown apart from, from just wanting to bench all the time because that's really what got us into lifting. We just were benching a lot. Um, and those of y'all know, 
um, who've even been following my other brother, Mr. Obeast. Um, our journey, we just been we've been benching. So I don't know. I feel like bench has just been really good to me. So you know, with going into this prep, we were just hitting what we were supposed to. Honestly, I don't think I ever overshot with bench. Like there was never a day where I was like, you know what, we're just gonna send it. So we literally just stuck to the program, followed what coach wanted me to do, and. Yeah, bench ended up being really, really good. So we opened up with 170 kilos, which is 374 pounds. And just like last meet, we were the last lifter. Same with this meet, we're going last. The loaders are loading up the bar. Yeah, and this, this weight is literally become opener weight for me, super easy. Super confident with this weight. Also, I don't get a lift off. So it's kind of hard to see the view here, but hopefully you guys can see the bar. Actually, you can see it. So here, good setup. Um, we always adjust ourselves lower, ourself lower at the bench, the bottom of the bench, so that we can dig our traps into the bench. And then I kind of push through, as you guys can see here, and slide up the bench. Also to help me unrack the bar as well. So 374, super easy. Three white lights. But yeah, I'm bringing that up because if you guys look really close, you'll notice um, little variables like that can affect the lift. So um, I've tried to go throughout training to focus in on those little things like that driving my traps into the bench, um, knowing when to stop scooting up the bench, sliding up the bench because, you know, hitting the rack, which I tend to do a lot because I self lift off um, and trying to give myself room for the bar, you know, the bar path. So um, yeah, all those things weigh in. And so yeah, just keep watching. I bring that up just so that you guys can know what to look for. So. First attempt, done, easy. Second attempt, there was about 12 guys in this flight and I was the last guy. I'm just sitting back there in the waiting room, getting a little anxious. So second attempt, 177 and a half kilos, which is 391. We've done this weight a lot. Oh, also one thing from our first lift is the racks. We took the measurements. Okay, second attempt, oh, first attempt, like I was saying, um, the racks were a little high. So I came out and asked them if they can adjust it, which my brother already did. That's why I stopped right here. Kind of asked them, hey, can you guys lower it? And they said, oh, we already did. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. But yeah, 391 pounds, hit this all the time. Scoot down the bench, slide up, head goes off a little bit, and then we're back on the bench. Our head is uh, fully on the bench. Start command, easy, second attempt. Usually second attempts for me kind of j tell us where we're at on the day. If it moves really well, then that gives us a better idea of what we can do in our third attempt. And it's like that for all the lifts really, so. Moved super easy, super fast. Okay, next attempt. Like I was saying, our head is a lot closer to the bench than the last two attempts, which affected this attempt a lot, so. Um, we get the unrack here. We get the com the command, and that thing is going up. So I'm gonna pause here. The left side is just about to clear the rack, and you can also see in my head here, I'm turning because I'm trying to see what the heck is stopping us from locking out, and the bar and the bar is pinned against the rack. So left side is clear, right side is pinned against the rack. Um, you're probably wondering why, um, but just like I mentioned, so right here, you can see that my head is definitely like the top of my head is off the bench. If you could tell from like, this angle here, um, and that affected our lift because, because I self lift off, I'm trying to get my body under the bar, wedged under the bar and raising my hips to help, um, keep, to get my shoulders and chest. In a, in a position to unrack the bar. Um, and because I'm so close to the top of the bench, I don't have enough room now from the bar path, 
the path of the bar from you know the down position and lockout there it's now very limited because I'm so close to the rack and so far up the bits if that makes sense so we hit the we get the command we pause it super long pause we get the we start ascending my left is just about to clear my right you know because we're you know sometimes the bench path is referred to a J curve um, somewhere in the lift at, after the ascend your arms will naturally you know from the sternum back to uh, lockout your arms will naturally make this J curve and so being that we're so limited on space that's what happened we couldn't hit the J curve and clear the rack we were too far close end up hitting the rack and I'm like I'm pushing at it so hard that the pin is starting to come loose you know so <sighs> sucked the spotters take it shout out to the spotters super bummed and uh yeah man we really wanted to hit that but we didn't sucks um, but that was the last lift of bench. So right now we are eight for uh, what are we at? We're seven. We're five for six. Sorry, five for six right now. Completed five lifts. Didn't get our last one. Um, and then now we get ready for deadlift. So in my head, I'm already like super pissed off. I was in the back. Shout out to the head ref, Josh, we go to the same gym. But I'm in the back and he's talking to me, I'm talking to him, I'm like, man, I've hit that in the gym, you know, just super down on myself and pissed um, that I didn't get it. Because like I said, I've done it before, you know? And to be able to do it where it counts and not be able to do it, it just sucks, man. So, um, yeah. That was our third attempt, 413. Which, by the way, I went the next week no, two weeks later and I did it at the gym uh, if y'all saw my Instagram y'all see I got my revenge so we we're able to get our revenge back um, but yeah next up is deadlifts at this point because I didn't hit that lift we're now behind um, we're not projected to hit the numbers that me and my coach Mikey had discussed now that bench you know throws us off um, and so I'm thinking in my head well how am I gonna beat my last total you know my last total was 1,503 pounds. And so, yeah, 503 pounds, or 1,503. And the projected number we were gonna hit was like 1,530. So, PR'd on squat. Would have PR'd, meet PR on bench, but because we didn't, we're now down. And the only way for me to beat my total is to pull 585 pounds. All right, next up is deadlifts. Um, we got first attempt, we ended up doing 225 kilos. Okay, yeah, so that's 225 kilos is 496 pounds. So for those of y'all who have been watching the channel, y'all know that deadlifts have been hard for me this whole training block leading up to this meet because we've had a lot of like back pain. Um, the deadlift like I don't think the heaviest we went on deadlift was about 518 you know which is nowhere near my PR my PR last meet was 585 and so not being able to you know lift a decent amount of weight leading up to this competition kind of threw deadlift up in the air and I think after talking to my coach the most he wanted me to hit this this meet if we were feeling good was about 560 and so 560 pounds and me because I was doing the math back there after not being able to hit that bench I knew that still wouldn't be enough to beat our last total and so kind of just sticking with my coach's numbers my coach had had the the opener down um, which was 225 and even my second attempt I think it was my third attempt where I was just like you know what I need to beat that total so here we go 496 pounds, super easy, we do this a lot. Got Andrew back there, man, shout out to Andrew, bro. Super easy, super light, three white lights. Yeah, um, Andrew stepped in, 
because uh, my brother was kind of tired from having to handle me and my uh, nephew, so he went and took a break. But yeah, man, shout out to Andrew, bro. Second attempt, we took 245, which is four, 540 kilos, 540 pounds. 245 kilos, 540 pounds, so let's see how it goes. Again, we've done this weight, you know, when our back was healthy, we've done this weight for, I think, a double. This is our second attempt. Easy. So, being that everything's flying, I asked Andrew in the back. Shout out to Andrew again, man. He was hyping me up, and I was telling him, you know, how I was thinking, like, my body, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit what we want to. Um, but I told him the numbers I wanted to. So, and getting his second opinion really helped. So, after uh, having Andrew watch that second attempt for me, Andrew was like, you know what, let's do it. Fuck it, let's go. So our last attempt will be 265 kilos, which is 585 pounds. If we pull this, this would put us at 15, 1507 total. So 1,507 pounds. 65, okay, yeah. 584 pounds. Nice and smooth, man. Yeah, pretty much it, man. 584. Um, moved a lot better than the first time I hit it. Um, so I was happy with that. Definitely felt like there was maybe, you know, two and a half kilos we could have added, which would have been a PR, uh, all time PR. But, you know, um, I was talking to Andrew, and Andrew was saying, you know what, we made the right call. Um, that was a great, you know, um, great way to finish the meet. So, shout out to him, man. Just one of our gym friends that ended up showing up to watch me and the nephews uh, lift, and then he even handled me back there. So, Really appreciate that guy. Um, but overall, you know, we were able to beat our last total, which is still the state record. Um, I, I had the state record total because of the last meet. And so the only certificate we got from this meet was the total certificate because we, we beat our last total by two and a half kilos. So, you know, um, overall, felt really strong going into this meet. And like I said, way more confident and composed than we were the first meet, you know. And I know it's only going to get better. So, um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much the meet recap. I had fun. They're always fun um, to be able to. I think the biggest thing for me is being able to prove to myself, you know, and show uh, something to show for all the work, hard work I've been putting in. So I'm really happy with this meet. Um, obviously I know what I was capable of and could have done but we weren't able to so that part of me like really drives me to want to keep competing and so I think I, I talked with Mikey and we're back in prep the next meet we're, we're trying to hit is hopefully going to be in November but I kind of just want to I don't know I kind of want to just keep building into next year and maybe compete next year but we'll see but for now you know, the training's not going to stop. We're still going to be staying with relatively in this weight class. Oh, and that's another thing. We ended up going to the restaurant the, day, the night before the meet. I recommend you do not do that. So we ended up being a little heavy the morning of the meet. And I, and I was sitting there. I was able to take a big deuce. And then I had to... I spat. Um, for those of y'all don't know um, about spitting, you can actually spit out about a pound and a half just just fluids and so i was spitting all morning leading up to the meet and we were able to we came into the meet one kilo shy you know like i think like 0.3 under the weight limit man so super lucky 
but we're still able to compete in the same weight class. We still have the records, the state records. Um, obviously, there was no one competing in this meet. So we took first, and then we placed seventh overall out of all the lifters there. So that's how they, they pretty much reward you is based on your weight class, first of all. And being that I was the only one that competed in my weight class, we obviously took first. But uh, yeah, and then we took seventh overall in the meet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That sums it up for this meet recap, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole uh, meet prep series leading up to this competition. I had super fun doing it. For right now, like I said, I'm still on prep. My brother and I are teaming up on our brand channel called Poly Strength. Make sure you guys sub to that channel. We're hoping to do like collabs and stuff. So we might travel, might meet up with dope people. This channel is still going to be going. I still want to grow this channel and make videos. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Shout out to all the new people that, that just subscribed. Thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate y'all. Again, we've only been powerlifting for about a year, over a year officially i um, mean this is our second competition we've been able to experience a lot of new of things learned a lot and we've also helped our nephews do a lot of great things within this sport too so we even helped out at our local high school a year ago and did some great things over there so if you're looking into getting stronger in the gym whatever your goals are whether it's powerlifting, football or just wanting to hit you know gym prs and just gain strength while doing it definitely hit us up our we've started a community um, like i said it's called poly strength follow the instagram page we are we do also have a community outside of social media that we just want to connect with people man if y'all want any tips any questions coaching one-on-one -on -one, program and a lot more things we even coming out with merch so hopefully you guys follow those um links down below in the description and y'all stay tuned into this journey Again, we're just scratching the surface with what we want to do. Um, I obviously want to push myself as far as I can go. I and mean, I'm taking y'all with on the, along the ride with me. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And I appreciate you guys again. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Much love, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.